I'd like to offer my priestly blessing to all of you at Archbishop Dennis O'Connor School. I'm Father Chris Lemieux, and I'm the new pastor at St. Bernadette Parish. I want to welcome you back for the beginning of the school year, come what may, and to offer you a few spiritual thoughts as we head into the fall and into a new school year. I'm very happy to begin my new ministry as pastor of your parish church, and I look forward to continuing and building upon the good work and Father Keith Wallace began with the help of Father Raymond, the associate here at the parish. Father Raymond continues to assist me and we're both committed to being here for your spiritual needs if you should wish us to be. You may remember me in my previous role as Director of Vocations for the Archdiocese where I was honored to come more than once, a few times in fact, to Archbishop Dennis O'Connor to celebrate Mass and preach. There were several young people from the school discerning priesthood and religious life whom I had met at various events and occasions and always look forward to the invitation I received from the school and in particular from Ms. Coulterman Fox to come and join you. I'm happy to have a chance now to work with Tim Lee Loy, who I've known for a long time and have great respect and admiration for. I think you're definitely blessed by him in your community. And he's already shared with me what a blessing the whole school community has been for him. And I look forward to now myself getting to know all of you. Since I can't be with you in person today, given our res current restrictions, and I'll, I'd like to share a little bit about myself and a short reflection to begin the year. When I think about my life, I'm always surprised by the events of my life. You don't think about it when you're just living life, but I think as I reflect upon life, it's full of surprises. The natural thing for me to do when I finished high school was to become a police officer, because that's what my dad did. I had an admiration for police officers and some passion. I studied it, I loved it. But at that time, when I finished college, Ontario was in a hiring freeze in the early 1990s. And so I decided to go to university instead. The first big surprise maybe, because I really didn't like studying that much and I wasn't a particularly good student. While I was in university, I landed a great job with an armored car company. I was moving up the corporate ladder there. And in having that job or in that role, I saw an ad one day for bus drivers in the city of Mississauga and I just applied on a whim and was surprised again to be hired. And I was a bus driver for almost 10 years. In the meantime, as a bus driver, I was also searching for deeper meaning in my own life, which was a pretty good life and a pretty joyful life. And so I went with a good friend of mine to Alpha, just to meet good people, and was surprised that, that after years of distaste and maybe just indifference, religion, I fell in love with Jesus and what it truly meant to be a Christian. Yet another surprise to me. Perhaps the biggest surprise for me in my life came around the time I became a Catholic in 2003, when I was in my early 30s. I was happy and I had everything I thought I could want in life. And someone had planted the seed in me to think about priesthood which didn't seem to go away. Although I recall many doubts and much, much determination not to become a priest. Two years after becoming a Catholic, I entered the seminary. And as the years went by, seven years of seminary formation, what emerged was this vocation, something that I was deeply passionate about and seemed to be really good at, something that God had given me as a gift. Being a Parish priest was all I wanted. I was ordained one in 2012. And I was assigned to one of our bigger parishes, and I was super, super happy there for a couple of years, then surprised again and humbled, really, to be asked by Cardinal Collins to be the director of vocations, which I've done for the past six and a half years. And now, I have my first assignment as a pastor in a great parish, with a great associate pastor at my side, and a great congregation and great schools like yours. 
So now I would say in life I'm expecting to be surprised. And I don't know, and I know I would say that the Lord won't disappoint me. Friends, I share a bit of my story with you because I've learned that one of the greatest ways to live our lives is to always allow ourselves to be surprised. When we do that, we'll never be disappointed. If we give everything that we have to whatever's in front of us, whatever we're doing, we will receive in great, great abundance. That is a gift that God gives to each of us. Finally, and so I'm doing my priestly duty here today, I want to share a few thoughts on the theme that you've embarked upon this year, the theme of love. Friends, I think it's so very important that this be the foundation of what this year is about, not only for the spirit and commitment of the school, but also for all of us individually and in our lives. I will look forward to any and all opportunities that I might have to connect with you or the students throughout the year in whatever manner that might be this year and to reflect again and again upon love because every homily I preach or every reflection that I offer anyone else is a point of departure of commitment and recommitment for me in my daily life. We all need to commit to recommit or to start over when it comes to how we love. In this world that we share with everybody else, love is the greatest gift that any of us have to offer others, but it is also what is so lacking in many ways and in many of, we see it in many of the world's problems today. If you think about the problems we hear or see or read about in the news every day, ask yourself this, how much of what is absent or problematic in the world, in the communities that we're part of, even in the school community, can begin to be healed, healed significantly, or healed altogether with love and greater love. But it's not easy. In fact, it's quite hard to love those who hate or seem to stand against what we do, to love those who seem to push us away or almost seem unlovable, to love when we've been hurt or betrayed or mistreated so often and so flagrantly sometimes too that we can barely lift our head above it. Friends, I've been there and I know it's hard and well, I've made a life commitment to live for love and loving others as Jesus would, I fail at it far too often, I must admit. But today is a brand new day. This is a day that I, that we can make the commitment once again to love with our whole heart and soul I've been blessed to see schools that I've worked with in these eight and a half years, so many schools, be transformed by loving and dedicated principals and educators and staff. I can tell you that among the greatest is your school, Archbishop O'Connor. It's definitely one of those schools. Friends, may you have a blessed and fruitful year May you grow, all of you, in holiness, faith, and love in your own lives. May you be the source of faith and love in the lives of all who you meet. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down and remain upon you forever. Friends, please consider St. Bernadette your parish. And if I can do anything to help any of you, please, please don't hesitate to ask. May God bless you.